With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is why is area a derived quantity? Okay, so first thing, what exactly are derived quantities? So derived quantities are those which are derived from fundamental quantities, which are derived from fundamental quantities. Okay, and we are having seven fundamental quantities at present. Okay, so if we see the unit of area, so the unit of area is meter square. Okay, this means that we are performing the unit of length whole square. Okay, and length is a fundamental quantity. Length is one of the fundamental quantity. Now, since meter square is not a fundamental quantity, therefore it will be a derived quantity because it is derived from fundamental quantity by multiplying, adding, subtracting or so on. We relate two or three fundamental quantities to give rise to a new derived quantity. Now, for making area we are multiplying length with length okay so therefore we are getting the area that's why the area is a derived quantity i hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today